Hi everyone, I wanna show you today how to take your totem face that we have begun and planned and turn it into a scratch artwork um, to make it feel like we're really carving with wood like a uh, totem full carver would do. So what we're gonna do is make sure that we have no white spaces. So we have a plan, we have a started artwork. Um, we really wanna make sure that our full face is covered so that we can do our scratch art on the entire thing. And the reason for that is um, if you don't fill up your work with oil pastel, then you won't be able to scratch away the paint. It will only scratch off if you have oil pastel on the whole thing. So I'm filling up my face, completing that. And some of you have already completed filling your face, but you might need to finish outlining. And I'm gonna show you what that means right now. Because I'm not gonna give you a paintbrush to paint until you have totally finished outlining and enlarging your eyes, outlining your facial features and enlarging your eyes if you did not yet. So if you have teeth or a white part of your eye, which everybody should have the white part of your eye showing, and if you have teeth showing, they should be white too, not just the white of the page. Um, and then I'm gonna finish by filling up this bottom portion. Now, to make sure your work is fully ready, I wanna make sure I have outlines. And the reason for that is I wanna make sure there's clear distinction on where your eyes are and where your facial features are. So that means that you wanna go on your work and outline. You could use blue, black, whatever color you would like, but make sure we know where our nose stops and our mouth stops and our other facial features stop. So get a color out and put a line around it. That's all that that means. Get a color out and draw a line around your mouth, your nose, and your eyes. Now what we're gonna do today is paint with our neutral colors. So in your tool, in your paint box, we have neutral color, or we have warm, we have cool, and we have neutral. Now on your face, we're gonna pretend that this outer portion's wood for scratch art. So we're gonna get our brush and everything you paint, like let's say I use regular wood color, I wanna kind of paint in different sections on my different colors so I know where those areas are, but I'm not gonna paint on top of where my mouth is. I'm gonna skip over that so I don't cover it up. I'm not gonna paint on top of where my nose is. I'm getting neutral colors, that's brown, that's brown, peach, um, and black, the, the colors that would look like wood. The colors that would look like wood, brown, peach, and black. Um, so I'm now covering up the center portion of the face. Traditionally, scratch art is normally done with black, but I wanted to incorporate more colors to make it look like wood. So I'm rinsing my brush. I'm not covering up my nose. I'm not covering up my mouth. If I do, I can wipe it away, but I don't want to cover those parts up. Now I'm going to get my black. I'm going to cover up these other areas. So you'll know it's a scratch art area if you don't cover up your eyes. You don't color, cover up your nose or your other areas. Now you can paint around these things as long as you're not going over them. You can try to mix some of these colors too. So I'm gonna rinse my brush now. I'm gonna say, oh, I want it to look a little more like wood. I'm gonna paint some brown on top of my peach to make it look more wooden. Now don't cover up your eyes, nose, and mouth because we won't. it's gonna be hard to find them again. We, those are very important parts. Now, once you're ready, you're gonna scratch, but everything you scratch on one side you want to also scratch on the other side. You want to keep it symmetrical. Look at that popping out. Everything you scratch on one side, you want to also scratch on another side. Remember the lines and designs. You can wipe on the placemat. If you scratch a line down here, I'm going to wipe my brush off. Scratch a line down here. Now this will also work to scratch later with the other side of the stick, like this. But we don't have to do that today. We can use... Um, the top portion of the stick today. Now if you want more of an intricate design, you could use a zigzag line like this. Zigzag line. 
You can use a straight line pattern. So you're making those designs, those intricate designs, just like we saw on our totem faces. We can use circles, circles. We can use triangles. No, no matter what, if you do a shape on one side, I have to repeat it on the other. Now, if something is in the middle of the face, for example, on this nose, if I do a circle in the middle of the nose, does it have to be repeated anywhere? No, it does not. And the reason for that, it does not have to be repeated anywhere, is because it's already in the middle. So it doesn't need repetition because it's already symmetrical, kind of like your nose. There's only one of them, not two. But it's still symmetrical. Same on both sides if you split it. So we can use both sides. You can use the big tip for a long, larger line. But you can use zigzag lines like this. If you don't get to it today, and all you get to do is finish painting, you can still scratch while it's dry next time. So I will not be letting you paint until you have made sure it's symmetrical, same on both sides, till you have put your outlines around your eyes, nose, and mouth. Then we're going to paint it like wood with black, tan, and brown, and we're going to scratch hard. Now, let me show you a little bit more so you can see, make sure I'm done. Remember, details are very important. Details are the small part that make a big difference. So I'm making little lines next to the eyes there, scratching those details. So take your time. Make sure that you're scratching um, lines or shapes in a symmetrical way. And make sure you do not paint on top of your eyes, nose, and mouth. Happy creating. Um, have a wonderful art class, and I'll see you next time.